Yeah, so there is punishment for losing here on Mostly Football. <laughs> and as if you couldn't tell, I was the biggest loser from last week, thanks to all those god kickers. Yeah, the uh, the sunglasses aren't really helping matters. You're I got to hide dolphin. myself. I mean, as a Jets it. fan, you're wearing a giant Dolphins uh, <laughs> as, as degrading as it gets. With the Dolphins facing the Texans this week, yeah. your punishment, in addition to wearing the Dolphin outfit, is having to bet on a Brock Osweiler football game. So who you got with the Texans and the Dolphins? Uh, you were out of your gut. Mind if you put any money on Brock Osweiler and that horrendous offensive line for the Dolphins. So take the Texans minus seven and a half tonight. Well, we all know Adam lost, but let's see how the rest of us did, shall we? Don't look now. Hate on haters. But my heater has continued winning $300 in the week on the back of hitting two bets on the Redskins and Cowboys game. James is on a run of his own as well, plus $200 in the week. And Adam, as we already mentioned, you lost. But you went 0-3 for a total loss of $300. Uh, kickers again, kickers. Very, kickers. very impressive. Town, a time for a bounce back, don't you think? I, I mean, fade my picks right now. I am, I am as cold as ice. And Marty, you've got the most real money in real life, but you've run out of fake money here on Mostly Football. So we're going to move you to our new role as gambling advisor. You can drop a little knowledge in the actual football. Yeah, I'm OK with going broke on this show. I just do not want to go broke in real life. That's, absolutely. All right, let's jump into this week's slate, shall we? We're traveling across the pond to London for the first game. The Eagles and the Jaguars both open the season as favorites to win their divisions, but are failing to live up to lofty expectations. The Eagles are three-point favorites in this one. Marty, how does the travel affect a game for these guys when they go over to London? So the travel is very interesting because when I was talking to my brother last night, so they left on a red eye and they'll practice in the morning when they get there. So um, this is a tough place to play and it's, I mean to get into the game and traveling. Even when you fly from Boston to the West Coast, is a horrendous way to play, especially if it's an early game. So body clock is different. The time is different there, obviously. So that will come into a play. The team that adjusts the quickest is going to have the advantage. And it's also weird playing a football game with not one true home team and a, like a away crowd. Like there's no home advantage or atmosphere. It's yeah, it's weird. like they're just all drunk and rooting for all the teams. I imagine it's like playing for the Chargers. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> James, <laughs> who you got, man, this week in the first one? I got Philly. I think they're going to turn it around. And, uh, you know, to your, to your guys' point, it's not a home game for anybody, but it's London. And so the team they saw the most last year because they won the Super Bowl was Philadelphia. True. And there's that fresh, hey, the Super Bowl champs are in town. I think that will reinvigorate them a little bit. And honestly, Jalen Ramsey is quiet. He's on mute right now, yeah. and they just ain't got the juice like that no more. But that's the difference between basketball players and football players. As a football player, he cannot determine the outcome of the entire game or how well he's going to do because there's so many other people he has to depend on. In basketball, I can talk trash every game because I know I'm going to get buckets. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And if the quarterback's playing bad, Jalen Ramsey can't say shit. Well, I I'm going to talk some in this segment because I'm number one in gambling on mostly football. I'm going to <laughs> Eagles, minus three. I don't give a about Jalen Ramsey. I don't give a about the Jaguars. I'm going with the Birds. Who you got? Yeah, I mean, let's not overthink this one. 80% of the money is coming in on the Eagles, which means the Sharps and pros out there love Philly. You should, too. I got $200 riding on this defending Super Bowl champs to take care of business early and often over in London. You're a grown man wearing a dolphin suit on Complex. Second up, we have some serious star power out here in Los Angeles. The Packers travel west to take on our undefeated L.A. Rams. Aaron Rodgers enters the game as a nine-point underdog. It's the biggest underdog spread in his career. Marty, did playing as an underdog ever give you guys, like, extra motivation? Yes. When you, it's, they have the target on the back. The Rams have the target on the back. Everyone's going to play their best game against the Rams, or at least try to play their best game against the Rams because they have a point to prove. And when you're the champ or you're the team that's most talk about, that's when you can make the biggest plays as a player and get seen because everyone's watching those games because they're undefeated. So it'll be, it'll be interesting to see. You think the extra motivation will help the Packers in this one? Who you got, James? Absolutely not. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the Rams are on fire right now. LA's lit, World Series, the city's buzzing, Halloween weekend, I mean, those, those, those players are just riding up the momentum and the love that the city's giving them. So we got it, Rams, all day, $200. You know, I saw that this was minus nine. If it had been Rams minus 19, I would have taken it. I'm going $50 on my guys. I'm only going 50 because I don't like betting on my favorite team. So I'm going $50 on the Rams. They're incredible. Who you got? I'm with you guys on this one, too. Know that Aaron Rodgers, every time he has been a five-point dog or larger, is just one and three against the spread. Also, Packer, bad road team. Small investment, small play here on the Rams to take care of business and cover that number. But I am worried about a backdoor cover. 
Yeah, back to our cover. Could be Easily really, could happen. Really, absolutely. That's definitely a good call there, Dolphin Man. All right, last is the rematch of the, the <laughs> Minneapolis Miracle. In the first meeting since Stephon Diggs' walk-off touchdown in last year's playoffs, the New Orleans Saints are looking for revenge in Minnesota. Minnesota is just a one-point favorite. Could be a preview of an, another playoff game. Marty, you think the Vikings uh, are going to win again in Minnesota? I think the Saints are clearly the better team in this, in this matchup. So it would be interesting because – they're playing. They're very hot right now. They're scoring a lot of points, and there's a lot of things that they do very well offensively. And the, the Vikings defense is very good, but that matchup, Drew Brees and the defense, is more important than me, uh, Kirk Cousins against the Saints defense. I mean. <laughs> he can't say Kirk Cousins without laughing. <laughs> James, who you got? You going with uh, you going with the Saints? I think I'm I'm going with the Vikings, man. I, that moment in the playoffs last year was just so epic. The Diggs catch. They're going to recreate it. They're going to do everything they can to recreate that energy. So I got it on the Vikings. And honestly, I just, it's, I'm just i just going with my gut. $200. Yeah, I'm going, I'm going $200 as well on the Vikings. I think the Saints are still figuring out how to work Mark Ingram into the mix. And uh, it's going to be a good one out in Minnesota for sure. Adam, who you got? I'm with you guys also. This is the fourth road game in the last five contests for the Saints. And at some point, that, toll, that travel has to take a toll on them, like Marty was saying. So I got a small investment, 50 bucks, riding on the Vikings at home. Is the one thing that y'all did think about, though. What's that? This game is indoors. It's still a road game. Yeah, but it's, it, <laughs> it's, the road game is indoors. It's not as big of an issue. All right, this is, why you lost, this is why you lost all your gambling money, okay, <laughs> for points like that. Um, Adam, thanks for bringing your own costume. I know you're a furry, so I appreciate you digging into the collection there. And, yeah, and, uh, and thanks the, so much. And for the record, I absolutely hate Halloween, yeah. just, just to let you know. Well.